some rain, but this time of year we don't get rain, but Florida sure does. This is the tropical storm that's now left Florida for the most part through Georgia and raging into the Carolinas as we speak with flooding rainfall. And Andrea, the first storm of the season, will just move right up the coastline here through the Cape and into Boston and New York, giving some rain all the way through the weekend, but it'll head off into the Pacific and that'll be the end of that. We have clouds along the coast thickening again. That's the marine layer. And we have these dying clouds from some storms that were in the mountains, so that's done. And we're not expecting severe weather in the mountains, but if you're camping, we mentioned this before, uh, be on alert. You know, you're in a tent with uh, wires and stuff, so if you've got lightning, get out of the tent. Go to your car. It's the safest spot. 84 is what we have right now. Windsor Dencom. It's a gorgeous night. 81 in Porterville. 80s for the most part on the valley floor. That's pretty warm for this time of night. Lake Isabella is sitting there right now at 80. And to Hatchby's at 66, it's still 91 at Ridgecrest. The high there, we'll show that to you in just a second after this. Our high was 96. 89 is the average. Forget the average. We're going to blow that away and keep things hot. There it is. 111. Yuck. In Ridgecrest. Isn't that awful? That's too hot. And guess what? 115 is likely there and maybe even hotter into Saturday. Porterville got to 97. Fresno, upper 90s. 87 in Paso Robles and not bad in Burbank, 78. Now, these numbers will go up too along the coast, but the marine layer has just been pesky. So, therefore, afternoon highs there have not been that warm. San Francisco got to 66. Santa Maria only got to 69. 103 in Redding, 108 in Palm Springs. So, the marine layer stays there, but we, on the interior sections of the state, just get hotter and hotter and hotter. Three times, I'm going to say it. That's it. I don't want to say it the fourth time. This low pressure area brings up the dry air instead of tropical moisture. We could sure use some of that, but that's not going to happen. And if you're a surfer, you're going to love the conditions in the Southland. They are going to be rocking all weekend long. Six to seven foot breakers. How about that? 104 for Sacramento tomorrow. That's not good. 105 Fresno, 70 in Sacramento. And down south, it looks pretty hot too. Temperatures around 72 in Santa Barbara, 64 for Pismo Beach. That's a place to go if you're trying to get out of the sun and the heat. It'll be kind of cloudy and cool in the mornings and then afternoon sun. 112 Palm Springs, 79 in Anaheim, and mid-70s for Los Angeles. So we will be triple digiting across the area, as you can see. 100 to 105, the range. Overnight lows, mainly upper 60s to low 70s tonight. And in the mountains, it won't be much cooler in uh, Lake Isabella, 102. 90 in Glenville, we've got upper 80s and maybe a 90 or 2 or 92 at Fraser Park. Desert regions, this looks painful. 110 California City. We're going to give Ridgecrest 115. Yeah, air quality remains moderate. Low 72. Clear skies. Tomorrow, 102. That'll be the fourth 100 degree day or higher this season. We average 38. <laughs> We've got a long way to go. So it's going to be a hot next three days, but it doesn't last forever. And you're going out to first Friday. I didn't hear you what? <laughs> well, catch, catch you live. I can't, there's music Catch you live at first Friday. All right. Maybe. Thanks, Colin. <laughs>